So we want to start making our layouts and our divs a little bit more responsive so they always scale up and down with the page. So instead of using pixels, we would set um, for a one column div it to be 100%. If we wanted two columns on the page, we would set each to be 50%. They add up to be 100. Again, another one column div would be 100%. If we have three columns, you just have to take 100 divided by three, so that gives us 33.33%. Got to add up to 100. And then the again, a one column div would be 100%. To get them to fly it beside one another, we're going to use float. You can float everything left. And then, of course, each div would have to have a unique name using an ID if it was for the layout. So let's go get coding. My banner is already one column, and I've styled it to be responsive. Now I want to have two columns. So I'm going to do div, and you can name these whatever you want, but I like to name them what they are so that I don't get confused. So left call, and then I'm going to close that div. And div ID, and I'm going to do a right call. And I also prefer to not use spaces. And then we're going to need to go and style these on our style sheet. If you've given something an ID, then you need to use the pound sign. I'm going to do width 100%, actually 50% because we are going to do two columns. And we're going to do our right call. fifty percent that way they both add up to 100 and then I'm gonna do commands apply source formatting to organize it and then if I want them to fly up beside one another I now need to do float left float left and then we can even add in some background color so you can get a better idea and see where these divs are showing up for right now I'm just going to choose a color, but you really want to use a color scheme generator so that way your colors look consistent and nice. All right, you notice the div started to show up over here in our preview and I'm just going to go ahead and add some content to them. So I'm going to start by just adding an H1 and I'm just going to put left column and I'm going to do the same thing in the right column. So now we've got some content, let's go preview it. So you'll notice that these are each 50% of the screen and my banner is filling 100%. If I grab the edge of the browser as I resize, you'll notice that they just shrink. So they're still 50% of the screen, no matter what size the browser is.